Hi, I'm James. In this video for tipsquirrel.com, I'm going to show you how to apply the Orton effect to landscape images. The Orton effect is a technique that was developed with transparency film, and it was where you took one shot that was sharp and underexposed, and a second shot that was just out of focus and overexposed. So you'd have one dark and one light shot, and then when they were sandwiched together and printed, you'd get this technique. The downside was that you had to shoot a specific image with this technique in mind, but with digital you can apply it to any image at all. So here I've got a landscape image open and all the details are really sharp and what I want to do is just soften things up and just create a more ethereal look, but not so strong that you can really notice it. So to get started I'm going to hold down Control, Shift, Alt and E and that's going to merge all of these layers here into a layer at the top of the stack. And now I'm just going to hold down Control and J to copy that new layer and I'm going to rename them. So this bottom layer I'm going to call that Sharp and the top layer I'm going to rename that to Blur. So with the Blur layer selected now go up to Filter and then Blur and select Gaussian Blur. So the amount that you need to set is going to be somewhere between about 15 and 30 pixels but I'm going to set mine to 15 because I don't want the effect to be too strong. And next I'm just going to go to the Blending Modes menu and change the Blending Mode from Normal to Multiply. So now the image becomes really dark. And if we next click on the Sharp layer, we're going to change the Blending Mode of this to Screen. So that's going to balance everything off. The shot's still way too dark, so I'm going to add a Curves Adjustment layer just to lighten things up and get the shot looking as light as it did beforehand. So I'm going to go down to the Adjustment layer icon, which is the half white, half black circle at the bottom of the Layers panel, select Curves, and then just drag it from the centre up and to the left. So somewhere round about there is going to be just fine. So now we need to control the overall effect, and to do that it's best to group all of these layers. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key, and then left mouse click on the sharp layer, so that's all of those three selected, and then hold down Control and G to group them, and now I can change the opacity of all those layers at once. Let's have a look at the different amounts. So 50, that's looking quite nice, but what I'm going to do now is just zoom in so I can actually see how the effect is affecting the image. So that's still a little bit too strong, so I'm just going to bring it down a touch. So let's have a look at 35. So there you'll see we're just kind of knocking the edge off the detail but we've still got lots of detail coming through. So if I just look at the whole image and just switch it off and on again. So you see it kind of enhances the saturation and darkens the image slightly but not so much that it's a problem. And the overall opacity that you set this layer group to really depends on personal taste and the, the effect that you're trying to achieve. But that is how to apply the Orton effect to landscape images.